How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day. And today we're going to be talking about a topic that many people struggle with. And it's one of the most challenging things that we all have to deal with in the morning. And that is waking up. The reason for this is because sleep is like a utopia for people. And when you dream, you're comfortable, cozy, and protected. By drifting deep into the unconscious, we start to go into the cycle of REM sleep, where life feels much better than having to deal with the responsibilities of reality. Also, it's not just a lack of sleep why people struggle with getting up out of the bed. Once you notice your alarm goes off, you can get up and walk over and press the snooze button, but everything in your mind is groggy. That's because your RAS, your reticular activation system, turns on. But your brain feels empty, like a refrigerator with no food inside. So you may ask, what ways can someone break out of the spell of being a prisoner in bed? So I have five things to touch on with helping you deal with getting out of the bed in the morning. The first one is, how do you talk to yourself when you wake up out of the bed? Is it negative or positive or is your mind completely blank? Whatever the case is, getting your mind in sync with your thoughts is important. For getting yourself closer to a wakeful state, this will give you a boost to get your brain going. Because how you talk to yourself shapes your reality and is especially crucial in the morning. Not just that. How you begin your day will dictate the rest of your day. So it's good to get yourself on a good start. So the secret sauce is using keywords to send signals to the Wernicke area of the brain that's responsible for language inside of the posterior superior temporal lobe of the brain. And if you can get that part started with certain keywords I want to share with you, you're off to the races. Certain phrases like I am great, I am love, I am beautiful, more words such as I love who I am, I am powerful, I am confident will give you a boost to get your left hemisphere of your brain activated. Think of it as a warm up. Instead of warming up your body, you're warming up your mind to start the day. And these are just simple short affirmations. Imagine if you could make this a procedure for 21 days by taking a shortcut to the linguistic part of the mind because the words you tell yourself has a major role in how you shape the rest of the day. The next thing we have here is techniques, which there are many benefits when you start to get used to using them. Not only they have the potential to raising your neurotransmitters and promoting mental clarity, they also help raise your frequency by getting you in touch with your body by activating your thalamus, which controls sleep and arousal, and to instantly alert the reticular activation system into action. One of the techniques that are really powerful and I do every morning are doing push-ups. They are really helpful for increasing blood flow to the brain by circulating blood quickly and rapidly increasing your heartbeat to get you in a wakeful state, almost like having a cup of coffee since you're putting your body through a quick workout by doing something so simple. I would recommend doing 10 of them to give you a true feeling of an adrenaline rush. Also, it will be ideal if you set your alarm away from your bed and immediately start doing them once you get up and hear the alarm going off. And this will give you the alertness to start getting your mind in a wakeful state. Another thing that a lot of us do without realizing it is we experience false awakening. Thinking that we are awake but we're still under REM sleep and we're able to have a conscious monologue with ourselves for a couple seconds before our brain pulls us back into dreaming. We experience this multiple times each and every night. While the hypothalamus is in control of all of this, it acts as a protection barrier for us in case of any danger. So in case you are aware of when you feel like you're about to wake up but still sleeping, this is your chance while you're conscious, which is the open window to the light. So what you want to do is wake up before 
your hypothalamus pulls you back into a dreamlike state. So if you ever wonder, the longer you stay in bed, the more it pulls you in until urgency of your RAS decides to step in. That's why when you're running late to work or school, it takes no effort to get out of bed. And that brings me to the point of having speed when getting up out of the bed in the morning. Because the longer you stay in bed, the more likely you'll lose all control. I like to take one of Mel Robbins' techniques. She says, think of yourself like you're in a rocket ship and you're counting down from five to one. And once you get down to one, you blast off and you get up out of bed. So when the alarm goes off, you can start counting five, four, three, two, one. Then you start moving to start your day. You can even add the push-ups if you want. The next thing that I would like to touch on in this video are using tools that can help you, such as different types of alarm clocks. With these tools, you can use them as a backup to guarantee wakefulness. The first one I would like to touch on is aromatherapy alarms. They're great for getting you into a sleepful state with different frequency therapy tracks to help ease your mind. It's perfect for a good night rest. Having said that, it's an alarm clock that is a diffuser that humidifies different types of essential oils such as lavender, peppermint, orange or lemon with hundreds of different types of oils to choose from. Imagine waking up smelling your favorite scent to calmly help you flow right out of bed. And depending on your preference, there's tons to choose from. Another one is having a sunrise alarm clock. This one is especially great because it's like having a clone of the sun in your bedroom. By giving you light exposure, that gives you a boost of serotonin and helps boost cognitive performance and focus. With having a sunrise alarm clock, you can count on having consistent wake up times and sleep times because it helps regulate your circadian rhythm for waking up and falling asleep. So having more tools in your arsenal gives you a greater chance with waking up with ease and tackle early tasks and be more productive because waking up on time will give you a peace of mind of not having to rush and stress in the morning so you can have the power to wake up at the time that works best for you. The next thing we have here are routines. Routines are great to have because it helps organize and prioritize the things that you want to achieve in your life. We see Olympic athletes apply this in their lives to keep the consistency and the muscle memory inside of the hippocampus of the brain. So when it's time to get things done, you'll already have previous practice for any task that is at hand. It's also good to note that just like brushing your teeth in the morning, it's something you don't have to think about. You just automatically do it because it's a habit that's a part of your morning routine. Whether you drink a cup of coffee or take a shower, which is all a part of the process. The first thing that's really good to get into is getting your body warmed up. If you have a gym membership, if you can get to the gym, that would be great. Or going for a jog in the morning or just doing some yoga and meditating to get your mind prepared for today. Because a prepared mind is a mind that is ready to fly in the face of adversity and if you enjoy listening to motivational videos that's good as well in this video we talked about mental health and how important it is to talk to yourself in a positive way to get your mind synchronized with the hypothalamus by using words to create motion to awaken the conscious mind the next thing we talked about is techniques and how they are really useful, such as push-ups, waking up before the alarm, and using speed, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 method from Mel Robbins. We discuss different types of tools, such as the aromatherapy alarm that gives you a wakeful scent to help you sleep and to help you rise up in the morning. 
and the sunrise alarm clock as well. We talked about routines, how it's important to have them to get your day started, whether you exercise, meditate, or listen to motivational videos. The last thing that we're going to touch on is having a reason why to get up because the basic reason for most people is they either have to get up and get ready for work or they have to get ready for school and just that might be unmotivating for some people since it's no joy in any of those things so changing your mindset will give you a sense of joy with goals and purpose that you want to achieve some examples are Maybe you have a book you're working on, or you have a portrait you want to finish. Having something excited for it will give you a boost to start your mornings fresh and awake will give you the benefit of the doubt to know that each day brings a different feeling to the next adventure. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I will be making more videos soon. I'm shooting for one video a week so you can get the best quality videos from this channel. Have a good day.